Hey guys, it's Kirgle again with another ROM review and this time I've got a special ROM. Uh, special in the sense that it's not much publicized, uh, a lot of people don't know about this. This was actually pointed out to me by a user, uh, well he is a community member so yeah let's get into the ROM now. This is called Space Alien ROM version 5.6a. So there has been a lot of versions previously and this is the latest one. 5.6 now um, Well, I'm actually not sure what to make of this ROM. It does have a lot of options. That's for sure It's themed out ROM. So a lot of people may like it. Let's get into the ROM now. First of all what you would see here is the uh, Lock screen which is a fairly standard um, KitKat lock screen. This is a KitKat ROM. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out Let's get into the thing now um, It has two Home applications. It has a bus launcher, which is a really cool application. If you haven't used it, it's kind of like a themer application, but this was actually available before themer was even in production, so that's there. Uh, or the Nova launcher, Nova launcher, which is the lighter version, so you can use that for saving up a lot of memory. Get into the settings menu. As you can see, it is all themed. All the icons are themed. Everything in this will be themed. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, let's get into the options now. Uh, in the about phone page, you can see it is KitKat, so you do have that. The kernel is Wavefla kernel for Omni ROM. It does work out pretty good. It's one of the best ROMs available, so you can have that. It's actually based on Tamasex and official version 59. Yes, I've been away from Tamasex version for a long time, and I didn't even notice it was up to 59. Now you can see it is Space Alien ROMs series 5 this is this particular one is 5.1 re released on 30th 3 2014 um so you have that it is 5.6a let's get into the options now this does have all the features of the uh, the Tamasx 59 i have tried out it late um just after using this so it does have all the features in the interface settings you can see status bar options uh you have a uh, clock and date etc etc you have a lot of options but most of these options are now available with all other ROMs so it doesn't make it any less any more um, exclusive functions anymore it's uh, same as with what you can expect with other ROMs also so the quick setting panel is actually the um, science and mod style quick, quick setting panel which is pretty cool you have the camera and etc but it, you don't have the styles option so that's something there um, no, of course, you do have styles right now. So yeah, the latest version of Sanjin mod does have the uh, tile per row styles, which is pretty cool. I would have uh, preferred this one over the slim style. Um, notification drawer, you can make it transparent. You can have a brightness slider in the drawer, um, which is pretty cool, which is kind of like reminiscent of the Samsung way. So you can have that. Smart pull down, etc, etc. You have a lot of options there. Quick access ribbon. Recent panel settings. Now this is really cool. You can have recent uh, clear all button enabled or disabled, or you can have the clear all position. You can select where the clear all button appears, so you can have it on all the, any of the corners. You do have the option for a recent ram uh, ram bar, so you can have that. Also, you can switch the recent style to the slim style, which is really cool if for someone who wants the minimal. Uh, thing you can have this one this is pretty neat I normally use this one with my ROMs right now so that's really cool um, what else do we have now you do have gesture anywhere we are one of my favorite features on um, other ROMs like uh, fusion body flood it, it, it did have this one it's really cool uh, it works out pretty good um, what else do we have expanded desktop is a KitKat feature so you do have that disable in lock screen nav bar it does have the nav bar you can see it is also themed one uh, you can change the buttons and uh, layout of this. You can uh, swipe away. You can have that. So that's really cool. That's it in the interface settings. In the lock screen setting, you can have a lot of other things also. You do have lock screen blur. You can have lock screen notification. That's really cool. I didn't see the uh, active notification. I think it's in the other settings. But um, it does have lock screen notification, which is, well, right now I would prefer lock screen notification to active display. So that's just my personal opinion. It does have a um, lock screen blur, which I'll show you guys. Uh, it's pretty good. You can actually enable or disable the intensity of the blur, um, increase or decrease, whatever you want. That's really cool. You have a lot of options there. 
it does have two themes right now what you're seeing is the system theme you can change it to transparent theme which uh, changes everything to transparent yes you can see everything is transparent now this one all of it you have this thing so if you are someone who likes the transparent look of cyanogen mod the early versions of cyanogen mod you can use this one so that's really cool it does have the uh, trds which is dark mode you can enable dark mode i'm not sure if it works with the themes i'll show you guys um yeah it it doesn't have much option with the the themes available yeah it does change the uh, with the system theme so yeah Temasek spare parts you you have a lot of options there you can change all of these these are omni features contextual uh, notification panel changes the um, notification panels header to a picture which is really cool you can have that that's really great uh, breathing voicemail breathing sms and breathing miss call in the status bar is really cool you can have that working um screen and animation you have a lot of options here you can change the animations list view animation list view interpolator um custom system animation is the okp system animation you can change it uh, right now you can see the animation is reminiscent of the 4.2.2 from the nexus 7 so yeah people who don't like that animation may change it from this one so that's really cool you have the option toast animation also is really cool you can have that uh, tn animation it will go to give you a uh, a test thing there uh, it does have custom progress bar which is really cool you can have uh, progress bar test you can have a lot of options here really cool um, works out pretty good so yeah that's pretty much it in the general setting you can see it, it gives you option to restart the UI if you have done a lot of stuff and you want to see the changes without restarting your phone you can just restart the UI uh, meter scan behavior on boot identicons it's a really cool feature which was available with chaos roms um, it uh, replaces all the blank pictures in your contacts with a 8-bit uh, style picture which is really cool if you want to see those that's really great so yeah that's it in that it do it does have a big wake lock blocker which may be used to speed up your phone and save some battery in one way or the other so that's really cool rest of the options are similar to what you can expect out of a normal ROM so uh, KitKat ROM so nothing much to expect except here it does have volume steps which is a nice inclusion uh, it's available in the latest science mode ROM so that's really cool uh, cast recorder screen of animation you can change the animation from here screen on notification light that's really cool uh, but yeah it doesn't work really good in a lot of the newer ROMs so yeah I'm not sure about that apart from that it's really a great ROM the speed of this ROM is kind of similar to the Damascus ROM the Temasex ROM is the base, so you can expect everything which that ROM gives you with this ROM. Um, this has a better, a different style. Uh, well, personally for me, this is not what I would be using because I like a more minimalistic style rather than the flashy one, which is which this one gives. So yeah, people vary, so people will like this one maybe. So I guess that much is it. I'll show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for uh, Space Alien ROM. So you can see it gives you Samsung Galaxy S3. And that's pretty much it. So let me show you guys the apps with which it comes. As, you, as I have already said it does come with Agni Control and Devil Kernel Manager which I think is kind of an oversight. It does have the Boyufla config app so you don't need to worry about it. I, I'm kind of misjudges on that but these two apps well while there they may be useful but yeah I'm not sure if that's really something which we need so yeah that's something of an oversight from me maybe it does have the battery widget it has a lot of apps with it it's a 400 meg package it does come with the uh, G app so you don't need to install any extra G app so that's really cool it does have a GPS status monitor so you can have that uh, what else does this have? It does have touch to wake control if you like to use the screen as touch to wake thing So you can have that it does have player pro which is actually a play paid app Which I think is why it's not available from XDA developers. I will provide a link in the description But I'm not sure if uh, that will be available or not. So yeah, that is it in the apps section uh, in the cam the camera app is actually the uh, Temasix kernel uh, Temasix uh, camera style thing it's not the slim style so yeah it's not the best one either uh, right uh, till now the sims slim style 
is the best one which I have experienced. So, yeah. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.